Coming up next, Treacher versus Fernandez. This fight is sponsored by Hydropros, the IV rehydration specialist. Jesus. Oh, yes. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought flags, to you by sure. the Hydropros, the rehydration specialist. We are set for three rounds of fighting action in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the next bank, blue corner. She is trained in Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in 154 pounds. Fighting out of Grand Prairie, Texas, presenting Ashley the Red Flag Tracer. And now her opponent across the cage. Fighting out of the U.S. Army Red Corner. She is trained in jiu-jitsu. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in 153 pounds. Fighting out of Midland, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Dalmas y Caballeros presentando Mary Le Muñeca Fernandez. Referee, Aaron Menard. Man, I tell you what, Antonio's Spanish has become disgustingly right, good. Yeah, that was, that was impressive. Times, like the way he rolled his tongue out. Oh, I, I tell you, so does, so does Mrs. Uh, Perkins. Oh. <laughs> All right, red flag yeah, and tongue roll. Right. Here we go. That's right. All right. Joe <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, we're going to, we're just, <laughs> freaking comedy hour tonight, folks. All right. So, you know, the interesting thing here is when, when you see a jiu-jitsu person uh, tra transitioning into MMA, the questions you ask yourself, uh, how, how well have they worked on their striking and how good is their takedowns? We're about to find out how good the takedowns are right now. Yeah, and, and not even an opportunity to get a strike off. You could tell she, she immediately, Maddie, wanted to go to the ground, locking it up here. And we're going to see how the red flag handles this. Yeah, this is a, you know, this is a grimy, um, really tiring style of fighting if you're, if you're not used to defending takedowns against the cage like this. And even if you're not used to to be in here on the offensive, it's it's very tiring. So we'll see how these how these ladies can handle up to it. Well, Jazz, you you an outstanding grappler in your own right, and, and you understand as well as anybody when when strikes start getting thrown, that change up that that ability to grapple, or at least makes you double think what you're doing. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, you can use your so basically with somebody somebody who's a grappler and they really want to get to the ground. The best way to use your striking is to get into your takedowns. You know, you can use your striking. It makes the transition into the takedown a lot easier. A lot of times, guys will be standing straight up. They're, they're thinking about the strikes, and then the finishes are so much. They come so much easier as well. But when somebody's ready for a takedown, then you find yourself in a situation like this where they know the takedown's coming. You haven't thrown any strikes, so it's it's much easier to defend in that manner. Well, the red flag, Ashley here is really needs to, to underhook or use that use that overhook wizard just to, to peel herself off the cage and reverse position and, and maybe step out so she can get her striking going. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, she, she definitely needs to start, start fighting for those underhooks, get off the cage there. Or what she could do is take that um, left arm that's, that's got overhook, reach to the other ear, pull on the ear, slide her back across the cage and then just work her way right off the cage. Like Outstanding, that. all right. That's yeah, a pretty pretty easy pretty easy way to get your back off the cage when somebody's uh, pressuring in that hard. Oh, uh, 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 cage there. yeah, a little bit. We have to give her a warning. Well, and I, she needs to take that oh. free hand and, and start throwing some, try and throw a little leather. Yeah, she's in trouble here. This yeah. is uh, yeah, 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 that's uh, game over. Game over. You know, it's just, uh, it was just attrition at that point, wasn't it? Yeah. It's going to win her amateur debut. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Aaron Menard has called the stop of the contest. Two minutes, 24 seconds into the very first round. Declaring a winner by TKO, Maddie La Muñeca Fernandez. 